This government had a narrative that top-down planning hadn't delivered the housing numbers, had just led to a whole lot of strife and that they were going to do things differently. Uh, the new planning rules have only just been introduced. Uh, they haven't been given time to bed down at all. It seems a little premature to start trying to rip the whole thing up and have another big battle of, uh, about planning when really what the planning system needs is a bit of stability. Well, we need a, a strong economy, we need economic growth, we need many, many more houses. And the question is, is how do you get them? On housing, I don't think anybody realistically thinks that if there were no planning restrictions, no restrictions on building in the green belt, you'd have many more houses now than, uh, than, than we're currently building. What you'd have is a lot more houses in the wrong place. The reason you haven't got a lot of houses at the moment is the, the economy's flat, there's no confidence in the housing market, people can't get mortgages, and state investment in housing has, has been slashed. Freeing up planning controls isn't going to do anything about that. We hear a lot of examples about planning holding things up and we've just celebrated and we're still the Olympics, we're still celebrating the Paralympics. Fantastic example of the achievement of planning, of reusing land. I think the Olympic Park was got through in something like seven months of planning permission. A massive new park in London. Uh, people should be celebrating that rather than having a pop at the system.